insurance tax deductible? Now, that's a very good question because insurance is not cheap. Obviously, it gives a lot of benefit. And what you're trying to do is protect your family and your personal situation and your wealth wealth um, building up. So insurance is definitely needed from that perspective. It's always nice if we can get a sweetener with the tax deduction for it. So let me just go through today what um, whether you can claim a tax deduction for this insurance. We have four types of personal insurances. We have life insurance, so that's decided to give you basically a lump sum payment in certain instances, help your family if something happens to you and you were to pass away, pay for your funeral, debts, any other funds to basically pay their ongoing living expenses and, and other needs, um, education, uh, pay off the home mortgage, etc. Um, now, a big thing on tax deduction is basically who owns the policy. Now, you can still have the insured person, which may be yourself, but who owns the policy? So if it's owned personally, it's not deductible. If it's owned in your super fund, it is deductible to the super fund. Then we have total and permanent disability insurance. You often hear us all refer to it as TPD. Basically, this provides a lump sum in the instance that you basically suffer severe like illness or accident that results in you never being able to work again. That is actually not deductible. Um, if you own it personally, but is deductible to the superannuation fund if you do hold it within your superannuation fund. Now it pays, so it pays that lump sum um, amount. Um, and then also, I guess, linking into that is your income protection. I'll go through that in a second. Trauma, which is critical illness insurance that provides you a lump sum payment to help you pay for a treatment if you've suffered a major medical event, heart attack, cancer, stroke, etc. cetera. Um, you know about it if you're paying for trauma because it's not deductible to you, um, yourself personally and it's not allowed to be paid by the superannuation fund. So it's a, basically it's not deductible in the super fund, it's not allowed to be paid actually um, by your super fund. Um, and so you're paying it yourself out of personal funds and you'll know about it if you're paying it. So you're getting no tax deduction on it. Income protection, that basically provides you a regular, usually monthly payment to cover the loss of income while you're unable to work for a few months or even a longer period. Now you could have income protection potentially till age 65. So if you did have a situation where you could never work again, you might get TPD insurance as a lump sum and income protection ongoing up to age 65. It's usually up to 75% of your income. Um, it is deductible in your own name and the tax benefit is depending on your personal income tax rate. Now, if you do have your superannuation fund owning it, it is deductible to the super fund, superannuation fund. Remember, it's only 15% tax deduction. So the, from a tax deduction perspective, um, it does make sense um, to be in your own name at the higher tax rate. The only other challenge we have is if you do have income protection in your superannuation fund, there are some restrictions on you actually being able to access it prior to um, preservation age. So um, that can be one of the challenges. So there's our um, tax deductibility. Um, thanks very much for tuning in. And if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to contact us at Smart Business Solutions Financial Planning. Thank you.